While YouTube is, for the most part, filled with innocent enough forms of online entertainment, it also provides a platform for anybody to voice any opinion they may have or create the type of content they want to. With the massive amount of creators there are on the site, it isn't that surprising that certain YouTubers have went on to break various laws. For that reason, I've decided to compile a list of just that. So here are 10 YouTubers who committed disturbing crimes. Number 1 is Alex Day. Alex Day was a popular YouTuber who, in early 2014, had over a million subscribers to his name. The controversy began around that time, when a number of blogs started to pop up from women who had stated that Day manipulated them into engaging in sexual acts with him. They also stated that the now 26-year-old vlogger and musician had taken advantage of them because they were fans of his work. Day admitted to manipulating a number of girls in the past, but denied that any of these were underage, although a handful of the girls who made the blog posts did indeed claim to be. The musician was taken off his label, DFTBA Records, and also took a hiatus from creating YouTube videos. He did return with a video entitled The Past, where he discussed the issues at hand. His return was not greeted with a warm reception, however, and his views and subscribers dropped dramatically. Number two is Jason Vioni. Jason Vioni, known as V1Eye on YouTube, is a 23-year-old British creator with an audience of around 450,000 subscribers. During the Sam Pepper controversy in 2014, YouTuber Anya Mag spoke out about her experience with V1Eye. She stated that when she was 15 and he was 20, he bought her alcohol and the two of them slept together which, based on the age gap between the pair, is considered statutory rape. V1i responded to this with a video of his own, stating that the claims were indeed true and went on to apologize for his actions. While he's continued to make videos since this incident, his channel has been in a massive decline since the event occurred. Number three is Sam Pepper. Sam Pepper is an online personality and former Big Brother contestant who gained a significant following from his prank videos. He has amassed 2 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. However, Pepper gained a massive amount of controversy after creating what he called a butt-grabbing prank. The video essentially featured Pepper sexually assaulting women in public. He later came out to say it was a social experiment, but by that point there was a substantial amount of people claiming that Sam Pepper had assaulted or abused them. Many people went on to make vlogs talking about their haunting experience with the YouTuber and it escalated to the point that an anonymous user made a claim that Sam Pepper had raped her. The claims eventually died down but Pepper found himself in another controversial mess when he made Killing Best Friend Prank, a video where he pretended to kill someone in front of his best friend. Because of this, a petition began to have Sam Pepper's YouTube account deleted and it amassed quarter of a million signatures. However, YouTube stated that his channel would remain. Number four is Elliot Roger. Elliot Roger was a vlogger of sorts who often made videos talking about his loneliness and isolation. The main theme of his videos were centered around women who never gave him any attention. His last video was entitled Elliot Rogers Retribution, where he made various disturbing statements detailing an attack he was going to make on his college. The next day, Elliot Rogers killed six people and injured another 14 near the University of California. He also sent family members and acquaintances a document he titled My Twisted World, which talked about his past, his problems, and opinions on certain topics, including his racist beliefs. His videos blew up after the incident and they were utilized to have a look into the twisted mind of Elliot Roger. Number five is Michael Lombardo. Michael Lombardo was a musician with around 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. He was signed to DFTBA Records and had a number of rewards to his name. However, that came to an end when he was accused of possessing child pornography in 2012. He was arrested but let go soon after until 2014 when he was convicted and sent to prison. One of the biggest concerns about this case was that Lombardo was persuading his underage fans to send him sexually explicit images. His channel has since been deleted and he is currently serving a five-year sentence in prison. Number six is Hannah Sabata. Hannah Sabata only made a total of six YouTube videos for her channel, but that's most likely because her last video 
sent her to prison. Sabata uploaded a video entitled Chick Bank Robber, where she talks about stealing things from a car and then proceeding to rob a bank. She shows the $6,000 she stole on camera and explains how she got away with it. However, her crime spree quickly came to an end when the authorities were notified about the video's existence. It was a substantial piece of evidence used in her conviction and she was sentenced to prison. Number seven is Trey Eric Sessler. Trey Eric Sessler, also known as Lens Cat Productions on YouTube, was a content creator who called himself Mr. Anime. He made videos reviewing various anime shows. One of his last videos was called Mr. Anime is Planning Something, where he said he would be taking a two to three week break from creating videos. He did go on to make a few more videos, with his last one talking about his new job, where he said that he would have trouble uploading videos in the future because of time restraints. It took a disturbing turn after this, because on the 20th of March 2012, Trey Eric Sessler killed his parents and his brother. His videos didn't appear to be that strange in comparison to the crime he went on to commit. In fact, they seemed rather normal. And the sheriff in charge of the murder case was unable to pinpoint Sessler's motive in committing this crime, apart from a rocky relationship Sessler had with his father. It was a sad and shocking case that seemingly came out of nowhere, and Trey Eric Sessler is currently serving life in prison with no possibility of parole. Number eight is Lion Maker Studios. Lion Maker Studios is a 27 year old Minecraft YouTuber with an audience of over 600,000 subscribers. He was exposed by the YouTube news show known as Drama Alert for having inappropriate relationships with underage girls. The situation escalated when he admitted on Twitter that he had been in a relationship with a 15 year old. There was already an array of claims and accusations towards Lion Maker, but it took an even more disturbing turn when he uploaded sexually explicit images of the 15 year old on Twitter. This, of course, is child pornography and is in every sense illegal. This is not the first bit of controversy Lion Maker has gone through. A while before this, Keemstar of Drama Alert interviewed a mother who explained a situation where Lion Maker Studios asked her 13 year old daughter for explicit images. He has since deleted his Twitter account and it is unsure where the entire situation currently stands or if there is going to be any legal action taken against him. Number nine is Vitaly Stavursky. Vitaly Stavursky is one of the most popular pranksters on YouTube with an audience of almost 9 million subscribers. He's went viral for a number of different videos and has amassed over a billion views. One of these videos, however, landed him in a bit of trouble when he pulled a Russian hitman bomb prank, where he walked up to various people with the briefcase in his hand and said the words, you have 60 seconds. One of the people he did this to, Andre Brown, was not too impressed and called the police. His cameraman, Jonathan Vangus, was arrested for possessing a hoax bomb, but Stavursky managed to flee the scene, but eventually was arrested the following Monday. This was not the first or last time either pranksters have gotten into trouble, with a number of their other pranks getting them into legal battles. Number 10, Jared Lee Lochner. Jared Lee Lochner posted a number of videos onto YouTube before posting what was considered to be his most disturbing clip. He posted videos featuring cryptic messages talking about his hopes and dreams and his opinions on various topics. His final video was a walkthrough of his college where he talked about his hatred for the establishment and the education system in general. The video got him suspended which angered him further. Three months later, Lochner killed six people and injured another 13 in what was seemingly an attempt to kill American politician Gabriel Giffords. Although he shot Giffords in the head, she survived and Lochner was arrested. He is currently serving life in prison with no chance of parole. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you were entertained to some extent. If you were, you can hit that like button or maybe even subscribe for future videos similar to this one. I will leave a link in the description to where you can check out some more creepy top 10s. And I'm also on Twitter and Facebook to Burke321, where I post a bunch of stuff about upcoming videos, not only on this channel, but also the gaming channel and all of the collaborations that I do. So if you want some extra content, I recommend you go there, check out what the scope is and yeah. But like I said, that is it. And as always, until next time. <laughs>